Hi, I'm James from Nick Snow Sports. We've been making skis in London for the past three years and this is how we do it. This is one of our bamboo core blanks. Most people don't realise that skis are actually made predominantly with wood, um, with composite layers around the outside. Um, it's actually what gives the ski most of its characteristics. So we use bamboo, it's incredibly strong, it's um, you know, super durable, it's got a really nice flex pattern to it. Um, and this is kind of how it starts out, so it's a big block and it gets put onto the CNC machine, which is where we give it its profile and its shape. So because it's a manufactured wood, it's um, the way that it's made into boards from the raw material is it, it's, it's cut up and then glued back together in these very long straight fibres. Um, so it lends itself incredibly well to something like skis um, and it, it means that you can tailor it particularly well to individuals so you can add composites or change the weights of fabrics and, and really adjust the feel of it. So once we've got all the information we need, we take it into the computer and build a CAD model, so a computer model of ski core. From this, we can then send this to the CNC machine, which mills out the profile and the shape of the core. This is where the bamboo core blanks go to be profiled, so the machine will uh, cut it literally to its individual core profile. Um, it's basically sucked down to this with a big vacuum, and then the machine head will cut it. So we can, we can change how it, the, the flex um, is across the length of the ski, we can change the shape of it, we can do everything different every time if we need to. So now that we've cut the various base components out on the CNC machine, we assemble it together essentially like a jigsaw um, before we start to put the edges on. The next steps to bend the edges to the shape of the ski, uh, we do this by using edge nippers to force the edge into the, into the shape we want. Now that we've got our edges attached to the bases, it's time to get it into the, onto the cassette to start laying it up. So we're using a two-part epoxy resin, this one's actually a, a bio-resin, and you basically mix the two parts, which starts a chemical reaction, at which point we can start laying up with it. And we're essentially wetting out all the different um, aspects of the ski, so right now we're getting it into all of the tines of the, the metal edges, and the epoxy is the glue that actually holds it together. It works in the same way as the glue does, except this one requires a heat to activate it. When different um, materials heat up and cool down, um, sort of, you've got like a metal, a wood, and a plastic. They'll all do it at a slightly different um, rate. So you need something in between the layers to stop that shearing force from breaking apart the bond of the, that the epoxy makes. So this is essentially a really, really thin uh, rubber foil which goes in between and creates that kind of sort of anti-shear layer. Now we're onto our composite layers. This is. Um, the first of, we're going to have uh, three different composite, composite layers in this in this build. Um, this one is a traxial carbon fibre, which means it's got um, fibres running in three different directions. So you've got fibres the length of the ski to give it um, stiffness along the length, and you've got plus or minus 45 degrees to give it some torsional stiffness. What we're doing here is wetting out the fabric, and then when it goes into the press, that'll cure, and that's what gives the, the composite its strength. Now it's time to put the core on. Oh God, my feet are bloody snippy. <laughs> yeah, so the core's on next. These little grooves here are called rabbit, uh, rabbit grooves. They're basically um, little slots that sit over the top of the edges so that when you press it, it all sits flat. You don't end up with a concave base. Next up, we've got the hybrid sidewall. So this is new for this year. So it's essentially a thin strip of um, ultra high molecular polyethylene, so PTEX, same stuff the base is made of. Um, and it sits on top of the side, on top of our Banbury sidewall and gives it a bit more of a um, edge protection um, on the top interface. This is our tip fill, so it's um, again uh, same as the base material, it, it sits on the edge and protects the tips and tails of the ski from impact. So next up we've got our reinforcement layers, so we've got a couple more layers of, of uh, carbon fibre over the tip and tail and the binding areas. Um, so for giving yourself, you know, giving the ski some binding retention and a bit of extra strength at the join for the tip and tail filler. This is our second composite layer, so it's essentially another, another full sheet of carbon fibre. So again, we're going to go through the process of just wetting it out, saturating all the fibres with resin. We've moved to, to carbon because it means we can drop the, um, the weight of the fibre while sort of retaining the strength of it, but um, carbon by itself gives a very sort of um, lively ski, but not necessarily in a good way, so we, we match it with flax to dampen the vibrations um, it gives it a really nice sort of damp, forgiving ride, essentially. This is our flax layer, so this is the, the layer that um, adds the damping, so it gives it a bit of, of um, longitudinal rigidity as well, but it, it predominantly adds damping to the, to the carbon fibre layer. Flax is um, a natural fibre, so it's the same stuff that you, uh, that jute bags are made of, um, and it's yeah, it's starting to be used in the ski industry a little bit more because of its mechanical properties. So the final step of this before it goes into the press is to get the top sheet on. Um, so 
We offer basically a bunch of different options. There's a lot of stock ones, which are the ones that come as standard with the models, um, but you can also choose to have a uh, completely custom design if you really want to. Yes, yeah, so we just um, completed the sandwich, putting the top layer of the cassette on, um, and this will help spread the load uh, across the width of the ski when it goes into the press. Now that we've got the top on, um, it's ready to go into the press and cook for a couple of hours. Basically, the set we've got is an adjustable press so we can put in different camber moulds, different tip rockers, um, and really tailor the shape of the ski to, to anything, you know, any application. So it's a pneumatic presser that works by um, compressed air being blown into these bags, which puts it down with pressure onto the, onto the jig and pushes everything into the final shape of the ski. So the press is heated, which is what helps the epoxy actually cure. Um, so we're just ramping up the temperature as it, as it sort of uh, presses the temperature increases and, and slowly gives it that really strong bond. So now the ski's out of the press, um, we'll let it cool down and then it's a case of cutting it out and we'll start finishing it. Um, we'll start by jigsawing out the rough shape and then we'll start to clean up the edges. Now that we've rough cut our skis, uh, we're going to get them onto the base grinder just to flatten out the bases so we can start profiling the side walls. Now that we've cleaned up the side walls, you can start to see the uh, ski take shape. So the next step is to put a bevel on the side walls. Um, this basically means we'll put an angle onto it to stop you from catching your edges and chipping it. So we've beveled the side walls and now the final step is to just clean up the top sheet, um, shape the tips slightly and then we're good to go. We've now got our, our bevel finished and um, sanded off um, and it's now time to stick this onto the base grinder and do the finishing passes to smooth it off the base so it's ready to go. So the last process on the base grinder is this cork finishing belt and this basically just takes off any little micro, micro PTEX hairs that are left on the base from the grinding process. Now that we've finished the actual build process, the final thing to do is take off the protective top layer and we're good to go. Yeah, so thanks for following us through how to make a pair of skis. If you'd like to find out more, uh, just go to the website at nicksnowsports.com.